a colleague, Dr. Richard Thorne, uh, he got the idea to develop uh, an environmental researchers colloquium. So we all mucked in and helped with that. And I know he was in, involved with Trinity College and some of the other NUIG and some of the other colleges. So in in 1991, I think it was in January 191, they hosted the first environmental colloquium. Now, this this was um, a very good initiative because there was a lot of people involved in environmental research in various departments in universities, uh, maybe in the area of ecology, geology, engineering, and so on. Uh, and then there were some other government departments like fisheries, the marine, uh, Chagas, maybe the RPII and the Geological Survey of Ireland, they were all involved in research. So it was an opportunity for the researchers there to uh, uh, <clears throat> tell tell uh, their, their fellow researchers about their research. And it also was a talking shop for them to develop links and so on. I suppose the main one that I was involved in was education, uh, as to uh, ask industries could we bring a group of students in and look at their facilities. And I must say that the organisations were very good, the private industries and the local authorities themselves were very open to taking in people. So for, for the instance, uh, for water pollution, we brought people to a municipal wastewater treatment plant. We brought them to industrial wastewater treatment plants and to municipal wastewater treatment plants. Likewise, in air pollution, we brought them to uh, areas that had uh, the technology for pollution abatement equipment. In waste management, we brought them to landfill sites, uh, recycling activities. Uh, I taught that uh, Training in the workplace was very important and to see how things happening in the workplace rather than just having it all theoretical, uh, I thought that was very important. Um, uh, but now it's all gone online. There was a person in the college, uh, Brian Mulligan, who used that te the recent technology. Like when, I, when we started it off, we didn't even have computers on our desks. Uh, it was and there wasn't even mobile phones and i can remember situations where we had to cancel uh, a site visit because it didn't uh, the company was having an audit at the time and we couldn't uh, uh, go on the prescribed date and i actually had to use fax machines to notify the people uh, leave a message on the phone at the reception in their various organizations if if so it was really you know, compared to nowadays, uh, it's, it was quite uh, a long way around of doing things. Uh, well, I think in the long term, not over the next decade, is uh, climate change. That's a big one, and uh, I'm sure everybody is aware of that. I, I think another one is plastics. Plastics is a very big one. Again, it's a man-made uh, substance, uh, organic, non-biodegradable to, to a large extent. And uh, who would have known that uh, synthetic fabrics would have led uh, given rise to microplastic fibers and so on from laundry operations and so on. And those things have been shown to cause uh, environmental damage, even at a very low level of the food chain. And uh, so that's one that maybe we wouldn't have uh, anticipated. And it's insidious and it's, it's only come to light in uh, recent times.